Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I do have several projects that I've created that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And um, these projects are for a challenge giveaway for Esther Luca. This month, uh, Esther is celebrating yet another birthday, my wonderful and beautiful friend. And um, for her birthday, she is asking us to make her and send her a birthday card. And so I did just that. Plus, I made several other goodies for her to use. And so um, let's go ahead and get started. So the birthday card that I'm sending Esther is this one right over here. And I do have a tutorial on how to create this beautiful e easel, easel pop up easel <laughs> card. Um, and I did this tutorial for graphic 45. And I if I can remember, I will I'll go ahead and link you to that right up there and down below and I will also link you to Esther Lucas channel um, in the description area below so please go on over and give her some love by subscribing to her channel and and commenting on her videos and leaving her some thumbs up because she deserves it and so anyhow um, there's a funny story behind this card and <laughs> It was it was one of those instances in which my cat ate my homework. <laughs> I don't know what it is about uh, Graphic 45 rosebuds, but my cat just loves them. And so she started tearing up this particular card that I made in the tutorial. And long story short, I was able to salvage uh, the card. And so I did have to make some new items for it. But uh, you can't tell that my cat had a go at it. So uh, yeah, Esther, I was able to remake certain areas of the card. And um, yeah, I did. Uh, I redid the butterfly. And there's this, I found some bling and I thought it would look really cute there. And I didn't, um, I didn't want to put another graphic 45 flower on here because I reserved those for my design team projects. And so I went ahead and added a Prima flower there. So this is the birthday card for Esther. It is so super cute. And um, I decided to make her a couple of other things that I think she will find useful. Uh, one of these things is a policy envelope. I made some mini policy envelopes for her. Um, Christmas season will be here before you know it and I think that these are super cute and so super simple to make using your we are memory keepers envelope punch board and uh, I made these for gift cards so that way if she has a couple of gift cards to give away she can use these mini policy envelopes to give away some gift cards and as you can see it's got the shape of a regular envelope and like I said just using the we are memory keepers uh, punch board you're able to make these and uh, once you make a couple of them I've made a bunch of these once you've made a couple of them it goes pretty quickly because uh, you have your measurements down right and you know exactly what to do so this is what I made for her another uh, item that I made for her are just regular three by three note cards these are also useful and um, there, these uh, are for her and uh, I was playing around with my trims I have so many uh, beautiful trims and so I decided to make some rosettes with these I hope she likes them and if you don't like them and you rather gift them to somebody else my feelings won't be hurt so these are for you Esther and I also made her um, a trio of three paper bows and these are stuck actually with um, these glue dots right here they're supposed to be removable so you should be able to easily remove these out of here and this is a graphics uh, graphic 45 I keep wanting to say graphics there's no s at the end of it okay this is a graphic 45 packaging tag and so I just uh, use my G45 die to cut this paper and add it to it and so I'm happy the way these came out and these um, uh, these were made with a Miranda die 
Miranda, is it? <laughs> I don't think. Hang on a second. I don't think it's a Miranda die. Hang on. Miranda. <laughs> Actually, it's called Magnolia. Okay, there you go. I'm trying to make up some new names here. <laughs> this is a Magnolia doohickeys. Yes, Magnolia doohickeys die. <laughs> Miranda die. <laughs> And so anyways, I just love the shape of these of these uh, bows and I made several for her and well not several just three a row of three and I think that these are neutral enough for her to use of in her um, paper crafting and I also used uh, dies from spellbinders to make a couple of uh, como se dice mariposa <laughs> Butterfly. <laughs> I can't talk today. Oh my gosh, everything just escapes me. Okay, these are a couple of butterfly <laughs> embellishments that I made using just uh, dice from Spellbinders, okay, and flat back pearls in white and in pink. And I also use this right here, and this little thing is called Wink of Stuff. <laughs> Wink of Stella, okay, and I, yeah, I'm doing real well. <laughs> and over here, I made her some cards. As y'all know, I'm a card maker, and I love creating cards. And um, I took the opportunity with this challenge giveaway to use items that I've purchased in the past because you're so beautiful and I just never have the time to use them so I went ahead and I whipped out some paper don't ask me what paper pad this comes from this is from one of my gazillion paper pads that I have <laughs> and so I made her cards with the paper and I used dice from spellbinders and I used dice from I want to say crafter's companion yes crafter's companion from that ooh la la <laughs> and check this out it's not regular card stock look it's not regular card stock oh my gosh what is this paper called i can't talk today okay um i use this paper <laughs> to make this card and this one as well and oh my gosh what is that paper called it's 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 the one that you use to to type up your resumes somebody help me here <laughs> anyways it's as thick as cardstock it's good quality paper and i bought some on clearance or on sale i don't I, I don't remember because I thought that you know what these are pretty colors and I can use them in paper crafting and so I believe I could and so I did <laughs> and and yeah resume paper I forget what you call it but you know what I mean and so I made these two cards for her along with matching envelopes to go with them and so I also made her a memory dex card. I just love memory dex cards. And if y'all remember, if you have been uh, following my channel for a while, a couple of years ago when I got into this whole memory dex card craze, I started um, when when I would embellish my memory ca uh, memory cards. Yeah, that's what I need right now, a memory card. <laughs> Yeah, please, someone put a, a chip, a microchip in my brain so I can remember stuff. <laughs> so anyways, this memory dex card, where was I going with this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All righty. <laughs> and so a um, couple of years back, I started putting toppers. That's where I was going with this on my memory cards because I, I just like the way they... Um, I, I love to throw something out of balance because then it makes it look more balanced. Does that make sense? <laughs> Anyhow, I do have another memory dex card to show you, to share with you, but that will be in a different video. So I made her this. <laughs> and I showed you these things. Oh, yes. And, um, 
She is a planner girl. So I went ahead and got her a roll of these at Hobby Lobby. These were on clearance. And I just, I, I thought, you know, I like the pastels and everything. And because she does planners and, and traveler's notebooks and stuff like that, I went ahead and got her these. And so, um, yeah, I do follow a lot of the Stamping Up ladies. And this one Stamping Up lady did a tutorial on how to make gift bags using your 12 by 12 papers. And so I did just that and I made her this beautiful gift bag. Did I say gift box or gift bags? Well, I meant to say gift bags. <laughs> and so I made this gift bag using the um, graphic 45 paper and the uh, paper that I used. It says unique floral shop this is from floral shop alrighty and so yeah I made this for her and I think that not only do these make great gift bags but also I was looking at it and I'm like you know what when you want to decorate your um, craft room and find uh, things to organize your stuff in you know these would make great organizers too and if I can remember I will link you to that tutorial that I followed in the area underneath this video so I think this is all that I have to share with you and I will see you once again real soon bye